Hello folks, it's Ron from Ron Brown's uh, YouTube channel where we discuss drones and action camera and other related tech gear. Uh, but tonight is kind of a drone video and uh, it's actually it's sort of a fireside chat really or a Ron talk. We're going to talk about the new uh, DJI Mini 4 Pro and specifically uh, should you upgrade to the DJI um, uh, Mini, Mini 4 Pro. I'm going to stop saying Pro because there is no other... Uh, DJI Mini 4, so I'm just going to say Mini 4 the rest of the show. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's the big question. You know, it, uh, the, it's already, today is the, um, the 26th, September 26th. The Mini 4 got released on the 25th um, by DJI. It's available to order from many sources now. DJI, um, Amazon, Best Buy, other uh, outlets to sell uh, drones and cameras and tech and whatever. So uh, ma some people have received it already. My my friend Sean Matthews over there in Spain, he he ordered his uh, Monday and think he got it Tuesday. So um, incredible shipping times on his drone, which is great. I mean, DJI's kind of really got their act together in getting their products shipped out in a timely fashion this year. But um, yeah, you know, not that you know. I know people. Hate a long video for whatever reason. I, if you come to see my videos, I'm not going to say five words at the end of it or whatever. So my videos are, you know, I do a talking video, I give you your money's worth in, in talking. But yeah, so uh, here, what's good? Cut right to the chase. Let's make this one of those, you know, no fluff videos that cut right to the chase. If you own a DJI Mini 1, Mini 2, uh, anybody else, a uh, Phoebe Mini, a uh, Upson Mini, anybody else's Mini, just stop watching this video right now. Go go to the um, you know uh, what do you call it the uh, comment not the comment section but the subject section you know uh, of the you know the video and and grab my affiliate link and go out and order the mini four you know uh, again just you don't need to see any more of this video just go out and get that drone uh, but now where it gets a little trickier is if you have a mini three pro uh, that just came out about. Uh, what do you think? Uh, we'll say May of 2022. So maybe like uh, about maybe 15, 16 months ago. That's where the question gets a little, you know, uh, hairier here for you. So um, we're going to kind of walk you through it, uh, you know, help you make a decision. This is all I'm just kind of laying things out there. Just my opinions. Uh, it's nothing serious. If you disagree with any of my opinions, that's, you know, that's perfectly fine. That's what we're here for. Um, you can discuss ideas and thoughts or whatever. So, uh, yeah, let's kind of get into it a little bit. I'm going to refer to the uh, laptop here that kind of helped me out here because I wanted to put some notes together, but kind of it's kind of hard to grab all the details. So I'm going to be looking over here a little bit. Now, I wanna, I, I'm going to point some differences out. Well, not differences, really. Um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to mention a whole bunch of stuff that stayed the same. Like, you know, like the first feature here is it's 249 grams. Well, the Mini 3 uh, Pro was uh, 249 grams. So I'm not going to mention stuff where it hasn't changed, where it's exact same. Well, I'm going to focus in on things that uh, the Mini 4 uh, has either, uh, you know, got something new or got a much improved version of what was on the uh, Mini 3 Pro. And I say much improved, that's a matter of opinion. So well, let's get uh, started right here. So the first one is say 4K 60 frames per second HDR you know, true vert vertical shooting. Well, the, they, the other one had the vertical shooting, so I'm not even going to talk about that. But the other, the Mini 3 Pro could only do the four, uh, the HDR up to 4K 30 frames per second. So this one, you get the 60 frames per second. Now, again, here's where the opinion part comes in, whether you, know, whether you need the stuff or not. And I, I don't know your needs, your wants or whatever. Um, but, um, you know, uh, my, my, I'm going to give you what I think or whatever, and you have to kind of wrap that around to what, what, what you, what your needs want to be. And, you know, I skipped, the, I, I kind of skipped over something I want to say in the beginning. I was going to say, if you have those older drones, just go ahead and get the Mini 4 Pro and call it a, a, a day. Um, yeah. But, um, here, here is the caveat. If, uh, this starts, you know, you, the cheapest package you can get, for the Mini 4 is $759. So if that if that's beyond your budget, beyond your means, beyond what you want to spend, however, however you want to say it, if you got to be under $500, we'll, we'll say, you know, then my advice would be to go get the Mini 3, not the Mini 3 Pro, Pro but the Play Mini 3, which removes the optical sensors and some of the other um, 
advanced features, but you still get the same camera, still flies great. Um, you get a few extra minutes of battery life. So, and that right now you can get that drone for $379. I will drop that link down below too. And, and uh, I, I can't think of the word. The, not the, it's not the common section. It's, it's the section where I write stuff. The subject. I don't know what they call that that darn section. But I'm going to put the li Amazon Amazon affiliate link. I'm Amazon affiliate. Sorry, do get a small commission off anything you you buy off those links. It doesn't cost you a penny more. So I'll put the link down for the mini the you know the mini four pro. Uh, and I will put a link down for this uh, this mini three, which again three hundred seventy nine dollars. So. If that one better fits your budget, you know, that's still going to be a much better drone than the Mini 1, Mini 2, uh, any Femi or Hupson Mini type drones or any, anybody else's Mini drones. So, um, but okay, let's cut back. The four the 4K 60 HDR. Yeah, that's nice. You know, it, it really is. But, you know, I don't I don't shoot often or I don't, I shouldn't say often. I, it's not like I shoot every time in 60 frames per second. I only use the 60 frames per second if I have a specific use case. Where I want to, uh, I've got a lot of moving action, or I want to slow something down later on, and that I don't often have that. So it, it, it's it's a small for me. It's a small incremental upgrade that's not worth you know buying just on that. Now here's one of the big ones here: omnidirectional obstacle sensing. Now, uh, you know the before the main three, main three. Well, so I keep I'll say the main three pro because it came out first. The main three pro. Um, before that mini, none of the other minis from DJI had any obstacle avoidance sensing whatsoever. And, uh, I believe Hupson had a mini drone that had some obstacle avoidance sensing, but I don't believe Femi did. And uh, I'll forget, I keep forgetting the Altel Nano, it has some obstacle avoidance sensing. But, um, you, the, the Mini 3, uh, was the first DJI, uh, uh I'm, I'm going to stop saying pro. Uh, the Mini 3 was the first DJI one with the obstacle sensing. But it had, you know, front, back, and, and, and downward facing obstacle fencing, sensing. So, of course, you know, if you could go, you could fly up and hit something from the top, or you could left, right, on the sides, you could hit something from the sides. But now we get true, said 360 omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, just like what's on the... Uh, the mini, uh, Mavic 3 series and the Air 3 series. So, you know, you basically have protection, you know, all the way around, up and down. So, uh, that's going to be a, a big deal for a lot of people. I mean, uh, especially people who, uh, I don't know, you do uh, a lot of sideways flying or maybe use a lot of the um, intelligent flight modes or tracking, actually tracking, which may, you know, run you right into a tree where you're tracking something. So that could be a, a big deal for a lot of folks. I mean, it is a great feature, but I'm one of those people, I kind of don't fly in a way where I rely on the sensors a whole lot. I mean, the sensors for me are just kind of like a, a backup, you know, in case, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe I go into some kind of return to home mode and won't hit anything coming back. But I, I'm not a person that relies a lot on the sensors. So just that alone is probably not worth, uh, worth it enough for me to, to do the upgrade, but it is a good feature. I'm glad to see it on there. And, uh, you know, uh, next time I do buy a mini drone, you know, it'd be nice to have it on there. Um, so extended battery life, um, 34 minutes, uh, for the, uh, normal battery that I'm going to call 250 gram battery and 45 minutes for the extended battery. Now the 34 minute for the normal battery is the same stats that were on the, uh, the mini three, but and, and, and mini three pro, uh, I'm kind of every time I say Mini Three, I mostly mean Mini Three Pro. Um, but the 45 minutes that's down from 47 on the Plus battery when you used it in the Mini Three Pro. So that's a little bit of a two minutes, not a big deal, but it's it's two minutes. Some people to some people that's a big deal. Not to me. This that's what this would not be a deterrent for me to um, buy the drone that I lose two minutes of, of battery life on the extended. So okay, another one here. 20 kilometers uh, full HD video transmission. And uh, this is up, this is due to OcuSync 4, uh, where the Mini 3 Pro has 03. And that had 12 kilometers of uh, HD video transmission. Where, so we gain 8 kilometers. So we get a much better, uh, almost double the uh, image transmission. And the Mini, you know, the Mini 3 Pro wasn't the, it wasn't the most robust OcuSync uh, 3 drone. It was easy to see dropouts in your signal. It was easy to lose connection. I mean, easier compared to other OcuSync 3 drones. So, um, 
and I and I've seen some review videos, and it apparently works much better. So that is a big step up. Of all the things I mentioned so far, that better image transmission is probably the first thing that really, you know, it, it's starting to really sway me towards maybe a Mini Four Pro. That, that's that's a big deal for me because um, you know, and we had a lot of lag in the uh, in the Mini Three between at least with the Mini Three Pro and the RC controller you saw a lot of lag at times so um and of course with this drone you get the new rc2 and so again what i've seen in review videos that's kind of all much improved so that this is the first thing it really is uh, is getting me to uh, uh jump on you know the um you know the, the mini the mini 4 pro bandwagon here now here's a uh, a new one active track 360 now even you know all of course the mavic and the air have this active track and even the Mini 3 Pro had active track. And uh, what's different about the 360 is that only, this is the only drone with the 360 so far, the only DJI drone, is that before, when you were tracking yourself or a subject, you you had like, um, you know, like a little, uh, um, I'm bad describing things, but like, you know, the object that Millen had different points around the object where you could place the drone at distances, but they were all predefined. So you had to pick a predefined point on, say, a map, and where you wanted the drone to, um, you know, to, to follow, to follow you, to follow a subject. But on this one, the 360, it's uh, you could just take your your finger and swipe around the screen and put the the drone where you want to track precisely where you want it, not in a predefined box. So you can also make, and by that you can make it do kind of really cool cinematic I, I made i made it almost five minutes in this video before i said the word cinematic but like a cinematic effect you know where it's moving around to, to track you so um this is it great technology go to dji.com look at it on there like little you know when you look at the mini 4 pro you'll see like a video it's really cool technology but i'm a man of a certain age here I don't have a skateboard or a snowboard or, or you know, a, a, a one wheel or I, I don't I don't ride around anything where, you know, I'm using the tracking. I mean, once in a while, I have a track me moving slowly, but I mean, I may not use the track outside of making it, trying to make a YouTube video where I'm showing how it works a new drone. I mean, I may only use tracking once a year, maybe not even that. So it's a very cool feature. And if that's your, you know, if that's your deal, you know, the tracking thing, you know, uh, it's a real important, but for important feature. But for me, it's not enough to sway me, you know, over the top here. So uh, for me so far, you know, the, the big one is the improved uh, uh, transmission, probably, you know, number one and probably obstacle avoidance uh, number two. So, um, yeah, I'm just looking at some other things here. Um, you know, it it you know they they I don't we don't really know for sure whether this has the same stack stack sensor that the Air Three had. Uh, uh, some of the reviewers talk about the video quality being improved, but they um, they never go into much detail about that. So I don't think you're going to see you know, a greatly improved image quality on this. Uh, you can't really tell when you're watching the um, you know the review videos that it does that it looks. Um, you know, much better than, um, you know, said the, 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 you know, that it looks as good as the Air 3, in other words. So, um, of course, it has digital zoom. It doesn't have an extra camera like the bigger drones, you know, which, you know, that makes a lot of sense because it's so small. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to look at a few more things here before we um, kind of go here. Uh, oh, it does add, you know, waypoints. Um, the, the Mini uh, 3 or Mini 3 Pro, uh, none of the many drones with DJI ever had waypoints before. So waypoints is going to be a real big deal to a lot of people. I mean, it's always a big discussion of waypoints. You bring them up in one of the live shows, whatever. But I'm one of those folks, you know, um, I use waypoints, again, a couple times a year. Uh, you know, outside of trying to demo it on a video, I don't really use them on the regular. And I've got other drones who can do it. So if I need to do waypoints, I can just get uh, another drone out with it. So that's not a not a, going to be a, a selling point uh, or an upgrade point to me because again, I don't use that much. I got it on other drones um, and cruise control. 
uh, as cruise control, which is a nice feature. It's on, of course, the Mavic 3 and the Air 3. It's a real nice feature. Uh, man, I forget to use it half the time. I should use it more. So, uh, but that's not a deal breaker for me either, just because I, 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 you know, kind of, uh, you know, um, forget to use it half the time. Okay, and this has the re the advanced return to home that the uh, Mavic 3 just got, and actually the Air 3 just got it too, where it shows you like a predetermined path the drone is taking to get back to you, and it even shows uh, like a shadow of where the drone is going to land, the exact spot on the ground when you're trying to bring it down. So again, these are kind of nice features. I I, I just got them on my other drones. So I, I mean, I've played with them, but only once or twice. I don't really know how much I'm going to you know, use them, but not use them. They just, they just, it just, it just works or whatever. I guess you could turn it off, but yeah, you can turn it off, but they just, they're just kind of there. So, um, I don't know, again, I don't think that's kind of a deal breaker for me here. Um, again, what, what I'm saying here too, is I'm, I'm coming to you from an upgrade standpoint, you know, I mean, if you don't have a drone at all, then, then all this stuff is great, right? And again, and I've made the point too, if you have some older drone that you don't have any features at all really this this is great but it, I, i'm just taking the perspective if you're coming from the uh the mini 3 pro or, or even if you're coming from another uh, uh recent release drone like the air 3 or the mavic the mavic 3 that, that th those drones have all these features or whatever the only thing you don't have is the 250 grams and, and that advanced um tracking thing so um yeah uh, i'm just trying to go over you know, one, you know, one, of course it talks about light cut here. So, yeah, um, so my, my thoughts are, um, again, if you have the Mini 3 Pro, I mean, for me, it's probably not worth the upgrade. There's just not enough here that I use on the daily. Um, I, I, again, that, that image transmission, of course, that, that I use that, I would use that on the daily. So that's probably the biggest thing here for me. But all the other things that have been either added or upgrade it from the Mini 3 Pro. It's not stuff that I do all the time. And and, and here's the down on the downside column is because it doesn't seem like the the video and photo quality have been greatly increased from the uh, Mini 3 Pro. That is the one feature that I would have looked for the most. If if they if they were substantially improved, say to the level the Air 3 was, I'd be all in. You know because again, every time I fly, I take videos and photos. That's a feature that I use every single flight. You know, I don't I don't take any flights where I don't, you know, record some video graphs and photos. So that's my number one thing that I do. And that looks like that was, you know, given the least amount of attention on this upgrade. So that's where I I'm, think I'm you know, going to sit this one out. Uh, what do people say? Wait for the... Uh, Wait for the Mini 5 or wait wait for the Mini 4 uh, uh, S, Pro S. You know, I'm just joking here. Uh, yeah, and you know, I just got the Air 3 recently, and that's a heck of a drone. I just love that drone. I, and if I got this Mini 4, I, I don't know any situation where I would choose to fly it over uh, the, the Air 3 just because of the way um, that thing flies. I'm talking mostly about the speed. I'm sure this Mini 4 Pro will have the great flight characteristics of all the DJI drones, but it won't have the um, oomph, the horsepower, whatever you want to say that the, um, you know, the, the Air 3 has. It's just a bigger, stronger drone. I, I like that video and photos of getting out of that stack sensor on that drone. And again, it has the same sensor size as the, um, the you know, the Air, the Air 4 Pro. I mean, yeah, I'm getting myself confused here. The uh, Mini 4 Pro, but again, I don't think it has that stack sensor, which helps with the dynamic range and, and, and you know, uh, colors and contrast and just, just basically everything. Just makes it look, you know, like a, a you know, a more uh, expensive drone, we'll say, or a more advanced camera. So, yeah, uh, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of it. I don't want to go on and on. I, I just wanted to give my, give, share a few thoughts out there on uh, wh whether I would upgrade from the main three to the main four. Everything I said here could be all wrong for you. The things that aren't important me, to me could be your most important features. So I, I did want to kind of roll by roll by that other stuff, just throw a couple ideas around. And again, I'm hawking my stuff. I will put links to kind of all the stuff I talked to down below. Please consider using my links if um, you know, you're thinking about upgrading 
uh, to the the, the mini uh, the mini four pro, or if I convinced you to get the Air three instead, got a link down there for that too. I mean, they're both great drones. I mean, I'm sure again, you, you, I'm sure I, mean, I know you'll be happy if you uh, get the mini four pro and you were flying again mini one, mini two, uh, anybody else's mini drone. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure you'll be happy too if you upgrade from the uh, Mini 3 Pro, but you won't be as happy as if you upgraded from one of those, those older drones. So uh, yeah, that's about it for uh, this show today. And uh, you know, um, hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a member. Um, ring the bell so you know when I put more videos up on new Mini drones or the new Air drone or uh, do action cameras too, the new Action 4. Pocket 3, all, all that stuff. Uh, remember my links. If you don't want to buy any drones, I'll put a buy me a coffee link down there so you can uh, send me a couple shekels to get a, um, you know, punk, punk, be a punk spice latte. It's fall now, whatever. It's that uh, time of year. They see some all colors, get, drink, drink some warm, warm, warm cocoa. So uh, that's it, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll see you in the next one, folks.